Oh, great magic eight ball. Answer my question. Who is the best YouTube tutorial maker for hit film? Okay, okay, another question. Oh, great magic eight ball. Who is the most intelligent YouTube tutorial maker for hit film? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Right, one more, one more. Oh, great magic eight ball. Who is the best looking YouTube hit film tutorial maker? Hit film sensei here. Today in this video, we're going to do this effect. So this effect actually came about quite by accident. I was working on a different project, and as I am known to do, I got distracted and I started playing around with some different things. And the next thing you know, I'm like, wow, that was kind of a pretty cool effect. I wonder if I could make this in hit film and that's how it came about. So here's how you do it. It's actually a really simple effect. I started with a composite shot, and I'm going to make it uh, four seconds long. And then I'm going to create a new text layer. And that text layer, I'm going to make the width of my project, which is 1920 pixels. And then I'm going to click on the A text icon and highlight the box and type in my text, you see. And you could change the fonts and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I highlight it first. I go to the text button. There's where you can change the fonts. And I'm just going to expand this so it fills the frame, maybe center it like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is, is I want it to move from right to left across the screen. So I'm going to twirl open the transform property group. And I'm just going to move the x-axis position over to the right until it's about... Yeah, 1850 or so. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I'm going to keyframe that, and then I'm going to hit the end key on my keyboard to go to the end of the time frame, frame and then I'm going to say negative uh, 1850. So now what happens is that text will kind of just move across the screen. Now, I don't want it to be on the screen the entire time, so what I want is I want to just kind of make a little hole here that it's going to shine out of so I'm going to start I'm going to make a new plane layer and this plane layer will actually be 400 by 400 pixels and there it is right there and I'm not actually going to use it I'm just going to turn it off and move it underneath kind of a thing and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a mat so I'm going to set I'm going to look for the set mat effect and I'm going to drag it onto the text and then I'm going to source my new plane so now, as you can tell, it just sort of is shining through only where I told it to, where that mat was, okay? So now here comes the part where we actually do the, uh, the, the ghosting letters. What I'm going to do is look for the zoom blur effect, and I'm going to drag that zoom blur effect onto the effects, and then I'm going to open it up and crank the strength all the way up to 100, okay? Then I'm going to duplicate that, but on the second copy, I'm going to make it negative 100, so it's sort of negative blurs. So we have one that's blurring uh, towards us and one that's blurring sort of away from us, and that's the entire effect. Now if I, under options, get rid of the checkerboard background uh, and maybe unhighlight that so we get rid of those little lines, then you can see how that ends up sort of looking and it looks pretty cool really so that's pretty much it in a nutshell if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hitfilm sensei consider liking the hitfilm sensei facebook page 
following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.